Rafa, you're a tour guide. Yes. You live in Betsahur. Yes. Tell us a little bit about your recent experiences with the authorities. My recent experiences uh, last year in, uh, in September, I was sleeping at around 3 a.m. in the morning and I heard banging on my door, you know, it was strange to see Israeli soldiers in my house. I live in Area A, you know, and uh, at the beginning when I opened the door, I thought they, were, they made a mistake. So when they checked my name, my ID number, turned out they were actually coming to my house. They took me to the house, they took me and my wife, and they put us in one room, and they searched the whole building with dogs, even my parents' home in Canada, that are actually in Canada, my brothers are living in Canada. What were they looking for? Uh, they said they were looking for weapons, you know, uh, at the beginning, they were looking for arms, and it was strange, you know. And then uh, they took me for interrogation for several times, and they asked so many questions, but it was strange, you know. I had nothing, I'm a non-violent person. I never had anything to do with weapons or anything. What were the consequences? Were there impacts as a yes. result of the interviews? There were, yes. The consequences, first I lost my permit to go to Jerusalem. And it was sudden, you know. I had a permit, I worked in the tourism sector. Then I lost it. So when I go to the interview to the Palestinian, uh, you know, to check by the Palestinians, and they told me, they asked to bring my file, and they told me you have a ban for 99 years to go to Jerusalem, like 99 years. What had you done that led to that? I don't know. Uh, I'm just part, I'm an elected council member, part of a youth movement, which they asked so many questions about. It's a very well organized non-political youth movement to support the community and work with the community and so on. So most of the questions were was about the youth movement. So you think that's why they were up Yes, you? because they also rejected many people from the youth movement. Recently. So it's intimidating the youth? It's a message to the community? Were they using you to get? Yes, I think so, because they told me, uh, the interview, they told me, he was very straightforward. We are watching you, we, are, we know what's happening. If anything we don't like, we will not wait, we'll bring you all in, you know. But you repudiate violence? Yeah, we, we are, uh, I'm a follower of Jesus, you know. I am a non-violent activist. Activist, I'm against all sorts of violence. So what is the impact uh, on your work as a tour guide? Uh, I can't go to Jerusalem. I can't, uh, for example, I plan to travel in April uh, for business. I'm a council member. Uh, I need to get an interview at the embassy in Jerusalem, whatever embassy in our consulate. I can't go to Jerusalem. And this is a big issue, you know. And uh, I got a five-year ban to leave the country, you know. It's crazy. So. Basically, I'll have to hire a lawyer, pay so much money, all these activism groups to try and stop the ban and end it. And you're not, um, it's not an exception, this is happening to others as well? It happens to all Palestinians. It's just like the administrative detention. You just don't know when you're going to get a ban, when you're going to go under administrative detention. It's something that we, we live with. And if folk want to know more about this uh, youth movement in Betsahur, do you have a website? Or we, have, we have a website, uh, we have a page, it's in Arabic unfortunately, but uh, the videos can tell, you can see pictures, videos of what we do to the community. We work directly with the communities, NGOs to support. What's the, the website? Uh, youth Thumps, it's actually not, uh, it's actually, I don't know, the, I think the website is also in Arabic. But I would recommend to go to the youth movement of Beit Sahur. Youth movement of Beit Sahur. Yeah, it's uh, called Al Harak al Shababi. It's it's the the Facebook page. You can see all the details. Rafat, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.